Adam repented before God. One more verse is there. Adam and Eve repented before God and their God forgave them. That means there was no need for the Son of God to come down to the earth in the flesh as a man and die in the hands of the devil. There was no need to give up his life for us. That's denying the redemption plan of God through Genesis 3.15. Whatever God prophesied through Genesis 3.15 and that was fulfilled on the cross by Jesus when he yielded his spirit into the hands of his father. That is being sought to be denied by this. A very clever, very cunning one. A normal person doesn't understand this. A normal person will not do it. A normal person will never want to say Jesus did not die. He will only say, why did he die? Why did he die? That is normal. Why Jesus died? That is normal. Jesus did not die at all. That is abnormal. That is from the devil. Likewise, Adam and Eve got, uh, got where for Adam and Eve sinned, they repented and their God forgave them. He accepted his repentance. It looks so normal for an ordinary person. But it is not normal. It is not normal. This is the mischievous, the most mischievous lie, mischievous lie of the devil. Because this lie, this ultimate lie number two, once again makes the, red, makes the redemption plan of heaven absolutely redundant. It denies. But the redemption plan had already taken place on the cross even 600 years before Muhammad rose. Whatever has already happened 600 years ago, Muhammad sought to nullify it through this lie. That's why it's called ultimate lie number two.